G'day guys, Morsey here. Welcome to a quick video on the horse speed and jump testers that I've made. These two designs have been in my Let's Play, which is where we're at at the moment. They have been in there for a couple of months, and I realised that I hadn't actually made a video about them for those who don't watch my Let's Play. And if you don't, you should, because I've got a lot of cool ideas coming out of that at the moment. But, this design is something I posted to Reddit a couple months back, and it hit the top of the Reddit and got over 3,000 points, which is my best post so far. And as a fallout from that, um, a few guys have covered it on their channels uh, recently, including Turtle Derp, which I just discovered. Um, he's done a video on this a little while back, and everyone seemed to enjoy it. And I thought, well, of course I haven't made a video on it either, so I better do that. So this is how it works. We've got a horse here with a saddle, and we want to test its speed. So all we do is we run straight down the middle here, line ourselves up with the fences, and we find it is 11 blocks per second. And just to show that it is consistent, we can do it again here. And we will run down straight across the fences, and we get 11 blocks per second. So this was the first design I made, and it went really successful on Reddit. This is the second design, which you may have not seen, which is my jump tester. So the jump tester works on the same sort of principle, that the fences become transparent when they're powered, and when you get rid of the signal here, you can see how high you can jump. So this one, all we have to do is walk into the fences here like this, and get to full jump height. And that wasn't quite full. Let me do that again. There we go. And depending on which sign you can read, that is how high your horse can jump. So this is a 4.5 to 5.49 jump height horse. And it is a little bit general because there's only, you know, a few levels of measuring that you can do. But then if I go up to this, this is a four block high pillar and you'll, f you'll see that I can quite easily jump over it. So from taking it from this um, jump height tester, you could then go as far as using the snow slabs like Etho does and things like that. Uh, so these are the two designs. Uh, this is the horses that I've tested so far. Um, they're laid out in um, speed versus jump height. So this guy here is my fastest horse and this guy there is my highest jumper. Um, including, well including this guy. This is actually a high jumper as well and it is a speed of 11, which I believe is here. Let me double check that. Yeah. So that's it, how it works. Now, let me show you how to build them. Alright, so the first one we're going to build is the speed tester. And all you need to do here is get about 15 pieces of redstone, a stone or a wooden pressure plate, a whole bunch of fence gates and a couple of fences and some blocks and a few signs. And what we're going to do is, we're just going to put down, first thing is we're going to put down a pressure plate. Now I'm going to use a stone one. Put the stone pressure plate down, then we'll get some blocks. It has to be solid blocks. Go away, horse. Okay, so we just go down here with some solid blocks. Down to here. And then we just want to run redstone down, 15 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and then a 15th block there. Okay, then what we want to do is put some more blocks on top here, just straight across. And on those we're going to put our signs. So we need to count here, so this pressure plate will be number one, then number two, number three, number four. I'm going to start here at number four, so we'll go four, and then we'll go five. We'll go all the way up to the end here. Okay, so I've got all my signs here up to 15. Now 15 is actually going to be your fastest horse. He won't be the speed of 15, he'll just beat 14, basically. Uh, then what we want to do is use fence gates. So the fence gates, I'm just going to start here from the fourth one, straight out like this, all the way to the end. And in actual fact, that is actually done. Uh, the only extra thing I have on that other design is I put some fences next to it so that we can actually prevent 
the horse from going off to the side because you may get a false reading if you are not aligned properly and for that matter you don't have to use fences you can use a full block if you like just make sure it's too high or at least put it up too high and I'm actually I'm going to do that just because you again you don't want the horse to misalign because horses are a little bit wider than one block alright so now that is ready to go so we can give this guy a test got our horse and we'll just run straight down the middle and we'll stop at nine blocks per second now of course as I said you can have these all removed it's no biggie you just have to make sure that as you do it you are align yourself to the edge of the the block wall here nine you can just walk out easy as okay before we go into the jump tester I'll just explain what is actually happening here so if we've got two pressure plates here we can test these basically what happens is a stone or a, a wooden pressure plate uh, takes one second to depower after you step off it so when, it, when I mean depower I mean that is powered when you step off there is a one second delay then it turns off again and to demonstrate this we can actually show here how it works now this is an iron pressure plate and or they call it a weighted pressure plate now weighted pressure plates have a half a second depower timer so if I go onto these at the same time you can see the two pistons extend but when I step off them you can see that one goes down first and this one goes down later so that is the important thing here is that your pressure plate is actually a stone or a wooden pressure plate and all that happens is while this is powered for one second all of these gates open and the furthest along you get you've traveled that many blocks per second so that's how fast your horse is and that's how we measure our speed there is a little bit of inconsistency here because technically this is not three and uh, not four blocks away technically that is three and a half blocks away from here but still it's more than enough to determine which is a ho faster horse or which is the fastest horse you have okay so with the speed tester done now we're going to do the jump height tester now this is slightly more complicated but it's still very simple to build so first thing we have to do is put a block here and three blocks away from that put another block then we'll get a tripwire hook or two and we'll put them one here one here with a tripwire in between and that is a working tripwire next we need to get our redstone torches and the redstone torches are going to go on the back of one of these so let's put it here then above that we'll put a block with a torch off the side like this towards the other side here put another block on top and a bl torch there another block on top torch there another block on top torch there and one on top with a torch there so that is five blocks there in total uh, so then we've got the other side here where we need to dig down so we'll go down below three blocks and here one two three we'll put uh, we'll knock out this block here and put a dot of redstone right there with a torch off the side of that block there on the bottom level here we'll put one piece two pieces of redstone there and a torch right here and that is going to power our fence gates so next we'll put our fence gates in so we'll go one two three four five and six so six fence gates and just to close this up I'm just going to put a block here and then a slab here so that that torch doesn't power this line here otherwise it will do this so we don't want that so I'm just going to put a slab there like that and then what we need to do now is put some fences up behind so let's get a fence and the fence is just to stop you walking all the way through basically and we're going to put a fence here and here as well and then we're going to go up by eight blocks up to there and eight blocks up to here and then we're just going to add one more block here or a fence doesn't matter what you want to do there just so that the horse doesn't walk over the top of that and make it annoying for us there you could even do one here as well so the horse doesn't walk up there either and then all we have to do now is add our signs 
So to add our signs, I just need to explain a little bit on how this actually works. So what happens here is a fence gate is put down, and if you check our Y coordinate, we are on block number 4. Now, when we actually step on top of a fence gate, we're actually one and a half blocks higher than we were. So that means if I can jump over a fence gate, which I can't, that means I'll be able to jump one and a half blocks, which I know we can't. However, if a horse is able to do that, then we can say that that, that horse can jump one and a half blocks. Now, when we have multiple fences stacked on top of each other, fence gates, sorry, uh, if we can jump over all three of those, then we can jump over a certain number of blocks. So if we can jump over that third one on the top, we can actually jump over 3.5 blocks. Now the way we have to ma mark out the signs is so that we can read them correctly. So when we put the signs in, it's actually going to be two blocks above the one that we expect it to be. So this block here, if a horse could jump over, over this block, that is one and a half blocks high. Therefore that horse can jump at least one and a half blocks. And if it can't jump over the second fence, then we know it can do at least one and a half up to 2.49. So if we put these signs up, we want to put them at the eye level when we're riding a horse. So the first sign will be for the first gate, and it'll go there, and that'll be blocks 1.5 to 2.49. So it's not quite 2.5, because it can't jump over this one. And then all we have to do is just go up the scale. So from 2.5, we can go to 349 and then from 3.5 we can go to 4.49 let me just fix that 4.49 then from 4.49 so 4.5 to 5.49 and then above that would be 5.5 to uh, 5.5 plus technically yeah so that's a high the highest you can get a, a horse to jump so that is how the signs are laid out. Now if we get ourselves a horse and test it, we can see why I put them up that high. Okay, so I've got my horse and I'm ready to test his jump height. So all I have to do is, similarly to the speed tester, is just align myself with the fence gates here, walk into the middle and get right up hard against the fence there. And as I push the jump button, we can see that my horse is a 2.5 by 3.49 horse. So that means with this 2.5 block column, I'll be able to jump over it, like that. As soon as it's any more than that, I probably can't. Just like that. And that's how our horse testers work. So these two designs are very simple to build, very easy to use. They're not super duper accurate, but they are really resource efficient and very easy to build here. This is a 10 speed horse, this one. So hopefully you enjoyed this guys, and this might be just a little idea for you guys to try and watch some of my Let's Play episodes, because we do have some cool stuff coming out of them, and it's only getting better as I go. So yeah, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.